Hello and welcome to Finextra. I'm Emily Haller and I'm here with Mike Laylock from Intel and we're at NextGen Banking London 2017. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you, Emily. When you think about NextGen Banking, what are the current focus areas of financial institutions in this changing landscape? Well, today the focus in banking is the shift to digital or digital transformation. This is a whole new way to deliver services to customers which fundamentally reshapes the business model. Uh, this requires an agile, scalable infrastructure. And banks have a challenge here because they have a lot of legacy infrastructure they, and a burden, and that really slows down innovation. So today, the big focus is around cloud or data center transformation. And depending on the performance and security requirements of the workload, it could be in a private cloud, public cloud, hybrid cloud, or a multi-cloud environment. Banks are moving from systems of scale to systems of change and de-siloing their data. And that really sets the stage for the future. So what would you highlight as the key disruptions facing the banking industry right now? And how should banks prepare for this? So one of the major disruptions we're seeing today that's a European, but it also has global impact, is PSD2 and MIFID2. Um, banks must uh, deliver services in real time with many new data sources, and that's going to put in incredible strain on the legacy infrastructure that they have. The other thing that, that leads into, which is a disruption and an opportunity, which is a big topic here at NextGen Banking, is artificial intelligence. This will allow banks to get more insight from the rich and deep data sources that they have, whether the workload is around compliance and risk management, customer engagement, operational efficiency, or security. And it will allow banks to move from uh, to predictive and proactive analytics. This requires a cultural change and a new way to look at data inside the bank and managing data and curating data. It also requires that IT, data science, and line of business come together. Uh, one of the things that banks can start to do to prepare for this opportunity is to develop a data hub with AI capability. And they also need to really develop, uh, put a rigorous uh, culture within the bank to look at how data is used as an asset across all business units and groups. So how will the landscape develop in the next five to ten years? So we're working with our corporate strategy office at Intel on six key forces that are redefining the future of computing and applying this to financial services. And some interesting uh, observations are coming out. The first is that the bank will become a platform. The bank will become a lifestyle company. Capital markets and insurance will be reinvented when smart and connected devices are everywhere and machines learn to think. Data will become more than just a mechanism for insight. It will allow banks to interact with their customers in new ways where banks become a custodian, a fiduciary for their customers' data. Uh, it will allow banks to focus on their strengths, which are their brand, their trust, and their customers. So technology is a, uh, as an investment will allow banks to focus on their strengths to deliver more value to customers in the future. Mike, thank you very much. Thank you, Emily. And thank you for watching.